Uh, hello, this is a note on plotting a DR track or just transferring from your logbook to the chart uh, to figure out your DR position. And this is um, an exercise, a quiz question from a one, our online course on uh, uh, coastal navigation. And so here's a logbook, and then I'm going to walk through this. Um, so it'll be a little slower than most people might want because I want to cover some details and discuss what's going on. Um, it's, it's, this is fundamental, fundamental part of navigation, ocean navigation, coastal navigation, whatsoever. You have a logbook, and so, and then we we write in the logbook every time the every time the course changes. And you know what's a change? You have to decide what's important or not. Certainly, any average course change over six degrees is certainly important. But you decide, and so you enter the logbook every um, you know every time anything changes, anything wind, whatever changes, uh, speed, course, or if nothing changes, then you enter the logbook minimum every four hours, and then sometimes you know sailors will do every one hour. It depends. But anyway, you have a logbook, and it's got the time. Now you you could have a course, and you know could have a speed. But in this case, we're using a, a log, uh, like an odometer. It's a, the paddle wheel that's measuring your boat's speed. See, we don't have speed here. We don't really need speed to know to plot out where we've been. If we have a log, we just have to have a log that measures how many miles we went and in what direction. And so this log here is the odometer. And uh, we're starting out this navigation when this odometer looks like it's a trip log. It reads 21.3 nautical miles. That happened to be at this time, at this time here. Now, in one sense, we, you know, if we're not going to deal with currents, with currents, we don't actually even care what the time is. All we care about is a log in the course. Now, as soon as you're dealing with currents that are pushing the boat around in the water, then you have to know the times. But in this case, we find the best estimate of your position uh, after these deck log entries. And it's telling us we have a, uh, whatever the wind speed is here, 15 knots from 280. So it's from 280. The wind is like coming right down, blowing this direction. And it's about 15 knots. We're saying the leeway is 7 degrees. So now we have to understand how we apply that leeway. But we are applying leeway to this track. We're not applying any kind of current, any kind of current. So we don't really even care about the time. We don't care about the speed. Speed times time is log, and that's what we care about, how many miles we moved. And this is, uh, and so this is, uh, what's it say? What is the latitude and longitude of your position here at, at this 337 position? So let's walk through just a little bit what the, how the log works. It happens to be 1 o'clock. Someone goes down. They read the odometer, the log. It's the same. It's the same paddle wheel that's measuring the speed. You know the rate that the paddle wheel turns. It's it, there's a paddle wheel turning. It's making little pulses every time. A, every time a little magnet goes by a loop, it makes a little pulse. The rate that those pulses are coming in determines your speed through the water, and the integrated total number of those pulses is how many miles you went through the water. Both of which obviously have to be calibrated in some manner. But so we have a with a, there's a, like an odometer in a car. It reached 21.3 miles at one o'clock, and at that heading, at that time, the, we're heading off in this heading 305 magnetic. Then we go on till two o'clock, and we're going to make another log entry. Now, when we go down and look at the log, the log reads 26.8 nautical miles, and at this time. At 02 o'clock, or this log reading, we now change course. We change course to 215 magnetic. So throughout this whole time, this first hour, we're study, we're sailing exactly 305, or you know, we're averaging 305. We wrote in the book 305. Two, and at 2 o'clock, we switch to course 215. Then we carry on at 312. We look at the log. Log reads 33.4 nautical miles, and now we turn to course 300. Then we keep going on to 337. Now the log reads this, 335.7. We're still on course 300. And the question is asking us, where do we think we are at this time? You want a latitude and longitude at that time. OK, so that's the exercise we want to do. And, uh, and these are all magnetic. 
So let's first of all just check here. I've got the I've got the training chart loaded. You see, I got the training chart loaded, 18465 loaded, and then I'm using. Oh, okay. By the way, I could project this down with my phone and take a picture of my hands plotting this on a paper chart, or I'm going to just do it as best I can in this uh, open CPN. It's a, a e-chart solution. You can do it either way. I'm not sure which is easiest. If done carefully, this is me. Well, I'm not even sure which one's more accurate. You'll have to judge. You have to do some examples. It, it, just, it depends on how, you, how careful you are with each one. The other thing to note is you see I'm seeing the boundary on this chart. I'm seeing the boundary on this chart. So that means over here on this menu over here, I have this quilting shut off. When you have just one chart, it's best to shut off the quilting, which is done there. And uh, there we go. And so this is that. But notice these are magnetic. These are magnetic. So I want to go back here, click this option, then go to s display, and then units. And we want degrees, uh, no, let's see, show degrees true. No, nope. we want magnetic. We don't want true and magnetic. We want just magnetic and we want 20 degrees. But look, there's a reminder, there's this, there's this very nice uh, plug-in that we gotta be sure it's shut off. That's the one that computes accurate, that computes very accurate magnetic variation at any place on the chart. And we don't care about that now. We're using 20. So let me just say I apply that, okay. Now I'm gonna go up here and just be sure that this is enabled, no, it's disabled, okay. So we're gonna get, uh, we're, we're reading magnetic properly. Okay, so we're ready to go. So now, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is plot this position here, this 48, 18, 123, 50, uh, well, that, that position. And so what I've done is, this is another thing you can set up in OpenCPN just to make it a little bit easier. I made one of these uh, little, um, what do they call them, dashboards? I forget what they call this. But I just set up one of these to show where the cursor is. So I get to about the right place. I want 4818, 123. 4818 and 12306. So you see it's somewhere around here, somewhere around in here, right? I don't care exactly where. Somewhere there. Now I'm going to right click the chart and drop a mark, right? Now I'm going to then right click this mark and go for the properties. Now, oh, can I copy this? Oh, I can't copy this. Can I copy this? Oh, uh, no, I just have to type it in. Doesn't matter. So I want to go in and type in with this. I want to get this buoy at exactly the right spot. 48, 18.8 north. Notice I, don't, I didn't put minutes or seconds or anything. I think I'm perfectly OK that way. 123, 6.5 west. Enter. Enter. OK. Uh, OK. And so what the, I'm just going to, oh, well, we could give this a name. This is log, this is 21.3. Or we could call it, we can log it, we can label this with a time, say. This is 0100. Okay, that's a time. Okay. And then uh, a description extended, show on the chart. Okay, basic. Okay. All right. So there's that. That's the starting position of this. Now we're going to, now we're going to, we want to lay out this course and correct for the correct for leeway. But notice what it says here. There's a hint to this question, and this is generally true. And they, and I'm just, I know what this says. The hint says, go ahead and plot it first without any leeway correction. Then come back and do the leeway. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to plot this as if there's no leeway. Okay, so here's where we are. Now we want to start out. We might as well, I wonder to what extent Okay, so we're going to drive off in direction 305 magnetic. Let me put an M key here. M. See, M. Then you see that's magnetic. 305. Okay, you see 305 is somewhere roughly that direction. That's an M key. I'm just, that's just taking a quick look. That's not the real. I don't know what this is. We'll just delete that, whatever that point is up there. We're going to go off in 305 this direction. And now, how far do we go? 
That's what we get from these log readings, you see. So how, how long am I on this course? Well, you could say one hour, but that doesn't mean anything. I don't know the speed. What I want to know is how, how far I went on that course. It was this log reading here at 2, so it's this log re minus that log. So I subtract those two, and I see I get this is 5, that's 5, I get 5.5. So you see I'm going 5.5 miles. So what I need to do in a case like that is just go in here. And so on this course, 305, I went 5.5 miles. On this course, 215, I went 6.6. .6. And then once I turn to 300, this problem wants to know where am I after I go 2.3 miles. All right, so that's the deal, taking into account the current. So now let's start. We're going to go 5.5 miles in direction 305M. So how well can I do that? I'm going to, um, let's see if I can get away with doing this as a route. That's, you know, sometimes you have to do things more carefully step at a time. But I'm going to just start here. And then I'm going to go, see, I want to go 5.5. So there's 5.5 miles. Now I want to go that to be 305. OK, Oop, a little farther up. You see, a little farther up, down a little bit up a little bit. All right, so right there, bang, that's that's my first leg. That's 5.5 miles in direction 305. Now I've got to go 6.6 6 .6 miles at 215. So 215, oh, it looks like about tacked here, a sailboat maybe. Oh, well, okay. So 215, there's 215, and I want to go 6.6. .6. So there it is, 6.6, 6, 215, right? Now what do I do? Then I'm going off in direction 300. And 300, and see really, it's asking for where's your position at, uh, after you go 2.3 miles. So I could go up here to, there's, there's about 2.3, something like that's 2.3 in direction, uh, direction 300. Okay, something like, Something like that. Okay, e exit. All right, so that's the answer to the question right there. Now, that's the answer if we had no, no wind, no wind, no leeway. So now we have to look at the wind. So let me just sort of schematically put in the wind as a, just a route. So I'm just going to go here. Oh, wait, it wants it to, ah, oh, i got to do a trick here. So let me go up to 280. 280 is the wind, like that. And let me just come back down like this, okay? Bang, like that. So now I see the wind direction. So the wind direction. 280. That can't be right. What's wrong here? Why do I pause and say that can't be right? I'm in a sailboat. And I went in this way, and here comes a wind this way. What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. I'm going, that, I put that wind in a magnetic direction. I want the wind in, a, wind is always specified in true direction. At, well, usually, mariners, nautical people always put it in a true direction. I've known pilots that are then get on a sailboat and they like to have it in magnetic. But mariners, usually, and meteorologists and so forth, always refer to wind directions as true. So we want a true direction of 280. So that means this wind direction has to be more like 260. 280, uh, 260, right? Because the variation here is 20 degrees. And it's 260 plus 20 is 280. All right? So just go here and delete that. That's totally wrong. I made a mistake. That's a, has done, let's, let's pretend I did that on purpose to uh, ex explain that. Okay, so we want 260. All right? So here's the wind. Let's say this is, this is 260. 260, something like that, 260, and now I'll just reverse it so I get an arrow with a wind pointing at me. Okay, that makes more sense. All right, so which are the, um, so what happens is the way leeway works, here's the wind, and the wind is blowing this way across the whole course. So when I'm going up this way, I'm going to go, leeway is actually, oh, leeway is just pushing my course to the downwind. doesn't change my speed at all. So instead of going up this way at course 305, 305, I'm going to be 7 degrees off this way. So if I take, uh, take 305, in other words, 
when I thought I when I thought I was actually sailing this direction, I was actually getting pushed this way. Right, so it wasn't 305 magnetic. It was more like uh, 305 plus seven is 312. Right, that's 312. So if I do this with leeway now, so I'm going up this way. I'm going to get pushed this way. Now then, when I come down on this leg, the wind is going to push me this way. So I'm going to come down this way, and then when I go back up, I'm going to get pushed that way. Right, so. That's how, the, that's how you correct for leeway. You just offset your course downwind by the leeway angle. So this 305 is going to go to uh, 3 uh, plus 7 is uh, 7 plus 5, 312. So I just, let me just start this again and see to what extent I can do it. I'll just go up here to now. I'm just going to sketch this out roughly. Uh, 312. Uh, 312. And I want to go still the same 5.5 .5 miles which is about there. Then I'm going to come down this way and instead of going 215, now I'm not going to subtract. I have to subtract at this smaller angle. So I've got uh, 215 minus 7. 7 from 15 is 8. That's 208. Yeah, 208. So now I'm going to come down here. I still want to go exactly that number of miles, 6.6. 6.6. .6. But now I'm at 208, which is here, 208, which is 6.6, oh, right there, bang. Now I'm turning to 300. See, I'm going, I'm going up this way now, but I'm going, the wind's going to push me that way. So from 300, I'm going to go to 307, and, uh, and I'm going um, 307. Let's see, 307, 2.3. So I want to go 307, like that, 307. And I'm going to go 2.3, 2.3, which is about there. Stop. Now that's the answer. I'm not going to read that off. That's your job as a, as a, when you work this problem and turn it in on your quiz. But that is the answer right in here. Right there's the answer. And that's the way this works. The leeway just pushes you downwind, downwind, but you still go the number of miles you think you went. Leeway is actually motion through the water. It's as if you've got a little extra sailing going on there. Even if you're a powerboat, you're sailing a little bit, getting pushed. All right, that's that, that's that one. Long exercise, but that shows it in detail, I hope.